introduce yourself for the camera, please? Um, Rachel Rodriguez. How old are you, Rachel? 36. Where were you born at? I was born here in central Pennsylvania. Okay. Were you born to a two-parent home, one-parent home? Two-parent home. How was your upbringing? I would say my upbringing was normal. Um, I had both my parents when I was younger, and I had two older sisters and a younger sister, and they both, you know, when I was young, they both work, you know, like nine to five jobs, and like my favorite childhood memory would probably be just, I would lay in the bed with my older sister, and not the oldest, but the one older, and we would tickle each other's backs until we fell asleep. <laughs> Um, now, economically, how was your, was your family, did your family have money, did you, were all your basic needs met and everything yes. like that? Yeah, we were middle class, I would say, like we didn't, we lived in a, in um, a single home, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we had two vehicles, so I, you know, that as far as I know, there wasn't money issues. Okay. When I was in elementary school, I did, I mean, I did well. I was always, <laughs> so let me just kind of, like when I was younger, I did well in school, but I did have behavior issues. I just, I struggled with, like when I was very young, I, uh, my parents even had to take me to go see a psychiatrist because I had some OCD. It wasn't like your typical, like I had to wash my hands or I did anything like repetitively. It was more or less, it was more or less my thoughts. And it was, I would just constantly think of the same things over and have bad anxiety from it. And like certain things, like I wouldn't let my mom or sisters, if you touched anything or I thought you touched it, I would just act out in anger. Like I would literally lay on the floor and kick and scream for hours. Okay. And what age do you remember this being? Like what's your earliest memory? Probably like three. Like okay. Or maybe four, I don't know. I think it was it was like right before I started school, so like a year or two. So three or four. Okay. Did you uh play any sports or have any hobbies when you were younger? Um, no. I didn't play sports, but when I got a little bit older, I I wanted to be an actress really bad. So I got into modeling because I wanted to be an actress. So I would go like to New York to different auditions and do stuff like that. Did you enjoy that? Did you I did. That? Yeah. I did enjoy it. Okay. To it to it until I got to a certain age, and then I did not enjoy it. Because <laughs> um, they were very critical. Okay, so is that what you didn't like about it? Yeah, I didn't like that because um, I was already insecure. I already had insecurities. So then when you have an adult telling you something about your own insecurities or things that you didn't even notice before. Yeah, somebody you look up to, I'm sure. Yeah, and then they're telling you, well, you need to fix this about yourself and this doesn't look right. And, you know, so that was that was hard for me to swallow. And then it, it brought on even more insecurities. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what were some of the insecurities that you felt at that time? So at the time, and still to this day, I have a white spot in my tooth. <laughs> and I had a couple of people, they would tell me about that. Um, you know, just different things, like my hair wasn't nice enough, or I had a really, really round face. My face was too round. Um, you was know, just the certain people things. like in modeling? Yeah. Or, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So that was just there. Yeah, so there were certain things that I didn't think about that 
like I didn't recognize them in myself until other people started pointing them out. Okay. And um, how do you remember doing in school academically? Like when you got a little bit older. I did well in school. Um, I did well. I just, I just was lazy. I just didn't do the work. So if I would have done the work. I mm -hmm. probably would have done even uh, better. How would you sum up your childhood? Um, speaking to, you know, there's plenty of people on the channel and in the community um, around the channel that we've met. If somebody was to ask you, Sandy or Jessica, um, Hannah, mommy, somebody was to ask you, to sum up your childhood in a short couple words, how would you sum it up? I would say. It was, I had a, I had a good childhood. I didn't have, um, you know, I didn't really have anything traumatic happen to me mm -hmm. um, when I was younger. Um, I was very close to my sisters. I mean, I think it was, it was good. It was a good childhood. I, like I said, it wasn't until I got older. Okay. Um, but you know, the one thing that I can say about my childhood is I never really was close to my father. Okay. Even though he was there. I just, there's just, I just wasn't close to him. Okay. And um, as you got older, um, what do you remember? Do you, or do you have any memories, any um, like points in your life um, where you remember maybe things taking a turn for for the better or for the worse? Um, yeah. So one specific that I one like specific memory as I remember my dad, he moved away to Ohio uh, for work. I think it was for work, because that's what we were told. And he moved there for it was quite some time. And I remember my sisters, so my mom, she had to work a lot. And then my older sisters kind of raised my, me and my younger sister, mm -hmm. um, mostly my oldest sister. She kind of took on the parent role, basically. She made sure that we were, you know, we had dinner every night, that our homework was done, you know, she'd give us bath and put us to bed, like when we were younger. So that I remember. You know, and then my parents also then later decided to buy a restaurant um, slash hotel slash, it wasn't really a hotel, it was more or less resident, like people live there, mm -hmm. bar. And after that happened, my mom really wasn't at home. She already worked a lot as it was, but now she really wasn't there. She had to be there. And I remember my dad at that time too, because we bought, the restaurant and he would have to he would go to the bar all the time so we were kind of left we were at home alone a lot yeah, sort of like you kids just yeah. come and go get your homework done make Basically. sure you know stuff like that and um just for the people watching um there's four of you total correct yeah just sisters yep. no brother okay no brother and um so when you said that when your parents acquired the the uh, restaurant and bar, you sort of remember that being a pivotal point in your childhood? Yeah, like I remember the day that they actually bought it. And I, I just remember like, I felt like at that time too, I remember hearing my mom say certain things and I feel like she didn't really want to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but they did it yeah. and, um, you know, my mom put her heart and her all into that place literally mm -hmm. um, and she was a great mother it's just that because it took so much out of her you know she couldn't really be there but she made sure that we were taken care of mm -hmm.